Hi everyone, welcome to Sense with Singh. Uh, this has been a long break from YouTube, but I'm glad to be back. So, bringing you a video, we are going to talk about uh, author collection, and I'm going to give you my impressions on six of their fragrances. So, let's start this video. So a while ago, I was approached by the brand and uh, they offered uh, me samples and I accepted the offer. But So they sent me six fragrances. Uh, they came in five ml decants like this and uh, we're going to talk about them. I have worn these fragrances at least once and some of them more than once to experience them. And uh, yes, my overall experiences has, uh, with these overall experience with these has been good. So let's start and uh, the first one in my hand over here is uh, Floral Musk and the Floral Musk we're gonna spray it on a test strip and tell you. So Floral Musk uh, has a lot of white musk in the base. Uh, it has fruity sweet nuances, some resinous touch leans towards the family of BR540 but not an exact clone of BR540. Sweet, intense, uh, nice actually. Uh, yes, there is a slight synthetic vibe to it but it's not uh, that off-putting I would say. Uh, next we have over here is Kultat Night and uh, I kind of like this one. You see I'm almost halfway through this. So Yes, this Cultured Night over here is a woody, uh, slightly gourmand fragrance. You get an uh, you get an almond sort of almond sort of vibe over here. Uh, yes, there are some supporting uh, florals, but they're not that overpowering. This is classy. This is nicely done. So that's Cultured Night, definitely a night fragrance. I would have this as an evening wear scent. Uh, next over here uh, is a. It's called Crystal for Her. So Crystal for Her is, uh, we also have a Crystal for Him coming up next. So let's try this. This is excellent. This is quite nice. This is an elegant floral musky scent. Has a slight electronic vibe to it. Uh, certain creaminess in the base. Could be a vanilla. So I get a lot of florals. I get vanilla in here. Very nice scent. Good one. Crystal for her is good. Light in the air. I like how these are diffusive in texture. So the next one over here is crystal for him. Let's do that. Okay, nice. I remember this. So crystal for him is is slightly sharp synthetic in the beginning. You have to kind of wait for the first half an hour to pass so that you can get the vibe off the scent which is better in its dry down rather than in the opening. Uh, the first time I sprayed it, actually I had in mind that the way the bottle looked and everything it would be a clone of Aventus. Uh, sorry for the assumption but I was completely wrong at it. So this is a sharp citrus with a woody spicy tone. This woody spicy tone is not that powerful, but it's definitely present. There are certain hints of green tones in here. Uh, soft spices, uh, not sharp spices, soft spices. But the overall citrus tone is good. So as I said, I remember wearing this. This had a very good longevity, very good performance. But you kind of have to wait for the first half an hour to pass for this one. So that's crystal for him. Next here is called musk Kashmir. So this comes from Kashmir. Oh, okay, yes. So this is basically Musk Rizali. It's also called Musk Gold. This Musk R. So many names of it. But uh, this is everyone knows Musk Rizali is a beast of a note. I would really rather have this as a base note in a scent rather than a scent itself. I don't really like Musk Kash uh, Kashmir that much, just because. You know, Muscrijali. So 
this one is a pass for me. The last one over here is uh, called Hayati. So Hayati is sharp, sweet, uh, floral, spicy, I would say. Again, a resinous character, uh, could be some sorts of florals in here with that sweet candy-like resonance, uh, fruity vibe to it. This is quite nice. So Hayati is quite nice. I remember this lasted for another eight to 10 hours on my skin. I've sprayed it on the back of my hand. I sprayed it on the forearm and uh, it stayed. You could get hints of it uh, even when I washed my hands a number of times. I, if I could really focus, I would get the hints of Hayati. So this was a good scent as well. So yeah, so an, in an overview, uh, uh, first of all, thanks to the brand for sending these across and uh, they, they were very courteous. They were, uh, you know, when I told them that it's going to be an honest review and all that, they said, no problem, you can do, you can be as honest as you want to be. So I really appreciate when brands allow that. Uh, certain brands that I have uh, connected with, I'm not going to name them, uh, they were... <laughs> They were not happy with the fact when I told them that the review is going to be mine and it's not going to be influenced by, you know, whatever you send me or whatever. And let's not get into that. But yeah, so I appreciate the brand's courtesy. I appreciate the brand's conduct over here. And uh, so, yeah, let's do an overview. So the first one was Floral Musk. Uh, Floral Musk. Uh, uh, I don't recommend a blind buy on this one. I highly recommend that you try it first. Uh, Khaltat Knight. Uh, well, in my opinion, this is quite unisex. Uh, I would recommend it. Khaltat Knight. I mean, you, you know, I used most of it, like half of it. So this was quite nice. Crystal for him. Crystal for him was good. It, it gets better as it dries down. So like that. Uh, Hayati is my top pick over here. This is quite nice. This is floral. This is musky. This is something gourmand going on here. Sharp resinous as well. So Hayati was uh, good. Crystal for her. Uh, this could be. This could be good for the. I, I would recommend this to a more to the youth side rather than an older person wearing this. Has that vibe to it. So light in the air. Good performance. And musk Kashmir was a pass for me. Uh, so yeah, that's my impression of this brand. Uh, once again, uh, this is a short video, but uh, nonetheless, it's a comeback. Uh, there will be more reviews. I have a lot of stuff that has uh, been sent to me over the past three months. And uh, all of that will be reviewed on the channel as well as on uh, my Instagram page. I am not that active on Fragrantica anymore. I used to update my collection over there, but no longer. I'm not doing that. And uh, yeah, you will hear from me about uh, more brands who have sent their new launches, who have sent upcoming launches to me. So when they are launched officially, my review will be synchronized with that. So thanks to the brands for that. And yes, thank you everyone for all the comments, for all the messages that have come to me over the past three, four months. Thank you for checking on me. I am totally fine. Uh, Things are falling into place and uh, there are going to be more videos as things settle down. So once again, thank you everyone for being a part of my uh, fragrance journey. Uh, there will be more content soon. Till then, um, take care and I'll see you in the next one.